Hi everyone, today we're going to study solution of a quadratic equation by factorization. A real number alpha is called a root or solution of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a is not equal to 0. If a times alpha squared plus b times alpha plus c equals 0. We also say that alpha satisfies the quadratic equation. Note that the zeros of the quadratic polynomial ax squared plus bx plus c and the roots of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 are the same. A quadratic polynomial can have at most two zeros. So, any quadratic equation can have at most two roots. To solve quadratic equation p of x equals 0 by factorization, factorize the p of x. Equate each factor to 0, then solve for x for each of the factor. Example 1. Find the roots of the equation 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 equals 0 by factorization. We factorize this by splitting the middle term. In some books, they call this AC method. Take note that our form here is the AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0, where A equals 2, that is the coefficient of X squared. The B is the coefficient of X, that is negative 5. C is the constant 3. The first step here is to multiply the A and the C. That is 2 times 3. And the product is 6. Next, we list all factor pairs of 6. Now, take note. Since AC, that is the number 6, is positive, it means the factors must have same sign. And the common sign is similar to sign of B. In this case, it is negative. Therefore, the factor pairs of 6 are negative 1 times negative 6. This is the first pair. Second pair, negative 2 times negative 3. Then we get the sum of the factors. Negative 7, negative 5. Then we look for the value of B as negative 5 in this column. We can see that negative 5 is here. So it points to the factor pair negative 2 and negative 3. Now we rewrite our original equation. This time we will split the middle term using this factor pair. So we have 2x squared. Now look at the negative 5x. It becomes negative 2x and negative 3x. Then we copy the constant plus 3 equals 0. From here, we will factor by grouping. In here, we group the first two terms and we group the last two terms. For each of the group, we factor out the greatest common factor. Factoring out the GCF, which is 2x, in the first group, what remains is the x minus 1. In the second group, the GCF is negative 3. So what remains inside is x minus 1. Now for the two groups, there is a common factor again. That is the binomial x minus 1. Let's factor it out. So it becomes like this. In the first group, what remains is the 2x. In the second group, what remains is the negative 3. These are now the factors of the 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. 
Then let us equate each factor to 0 and solve for x. So, x minus 1 equals 0. 2x minus 3 equals 0. In the first equation here, we transpose negative 1 to the right. So, x equals 1. In the second group, we transpose negative 3 to the right. Then we divide the equation by 2. So, x equals 3 over 2. These are the values of the x, or we call this root or solutions. If we want to check if these values are correct, we substitute these values to the original equation, and you will find out that this will be satisfied. Example 2. Find the roots of the equation x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0 by factorization. The factors of the trinomial on the left side will be like this. x plus m times x plus n equals that 0 on the right. Now let us find m and n. Take note that the product m times n should be equal to the negative 10, the constant. And the sum m plus n must be equal to the negative 3, which is the coefficient of x. Take note that the constant negative 10 being negative means m and n must have opposite signs. Let us list all factor pairs of negative 10. These are the pairs, starting with 1 times negative 10, negative 1 times 10, 2 times negative 5, negative 2 times 5. Then, let's get the sum of each of the factor pairs. 1 plus negative 10 is negative 9, negative 1 plus 10 is 9, 2 plus negative 5 is negative 3, negative 2 plus 5 positive 3. Then, in this column, we look for the coefficient of x, which is negative 3, and it is here. This negative 3 points to the factor pair 2 and negative 5. This factor pair means m is the 2 and the n is negative 5. We substitute these values to our form here. So we have x plus 2 times x minus 5 equal 0. Now we equate each factor to 0 and solve for x. We have x plus 2 equals 0, x minus 5 equals 0. In the first equation, we transpose positive 2 to the right. So x equals negative 2. In the second equation, the negative 5 is transposed to the right. So x equals positive 5. These are now the roots or solutions of the quadratic equation. If you want to check, if these values of x are correct, substitute these values in our original equation. And you will find out that this is satisfied. Example 3. Find two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182. Considering that sum is 27, we say that x equals the first number. And the second number is 27 minus x. Now, what about product is 182? We multiply the two expressions. So we have x times the quantity 27 minus x equals 182. We have simplify the left side. We have 27x minus x squared. This 182, we transpose to the left. Then we arrange the values. So we have negative x squared plus 27x minus 182 equals 0. Just to make this x squared to be positive, let's multiply this by negative 1. So we have now x squared minus 27x plus 182 equals 0. Now, the constant 182 
being positive means M and N or the factors must have same sign and similar to the sign of middle term. In this case, it is negative. Let us list all factor pairs of 182. Here they are, starting with negative 1 times negative 182, negative 2 times negative 91, negative 7 times negative 26, negative 13 times negative 14. Now let us get the sum of the factors. Now on this column, we look for the value of negative 27. And it is here. It points out to the factor pair negative 13 and negative 14. Therefore, we write x minus 13 times x minus 14 equals 0. Now we equate each factor to 0 and solve for x. So we have x minus 13 equals 0 and x minus 14 equals 0. In the first equation, x sub 1 or the first value of x is positive 13. In the second equation, we have x sub 2. That is the second value of x which is 14. Now let us check whether any one or both are correct. When first number x equals 13, the second number which is 27 minus 13 equals 14. When first number x equals 14, the second number 27 minus 14 equals 13. Therefore, the two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182 are 13 and 14.